it's time for my Aldi haul for the week. I got a little bit more than last week, so let's go ahead and jump in. All right, for breakfast, I got a little more fruit than I normally do. Um, my boyfriend has class this week, and so I've been packing him a little breakfast for him to take with him. So I didn't only get fruit for myself, but some fruit for him as well. And the oranges were on sale again, and the oranges keep really good in the fridge at least two weeks. And I've really been enjoying them for breakfast, just for something different. And it's good this time of year, because everybody everybody at school is sick and I feel like I've been fighting it off um, so eating an orange is not a bad idea um, so anyway I got some bananas as per usual every single week um, at Walmart 55 cents a pound at Aldi 28 cents a pound so I saved 86 cents on the bananas Again, I got two bags of oranges. These are each four pounds. So I got a total of eight pounds of oranges um, at my local Walmart for um, two four pound bags. It would be $7.96. At Aldi, these were a produce pick of the week at $1.99 for each four pound bag. Um, so that is a total of $3.98 saved um, between both of those bags combined. All right, I was really excited because grapes were on sale this week as well. I love having grapes for breakfast, but in the winter time especially, they get ridiculously high. So this was another produce pick of the week at 99 cents a pound. Um, at Walmart right Right now they are $2.98 a pound so I saved $3.98 on this. Um, this is a two pound bag. It was already like pre-bagged. So um, two pounds of grapes. Again I'm going to wash those and split those up into little snack bags and they last at least a week um, for breakfast or just a snack or something to take in your lunch. Um, so there's that. All right I also got some more powdered donuts. Um, of course not the healthiest thing but last weekend we just sort of um, ate through these <laughs> as just a snack we were like studying and we ended up eating through them and so I don't know it was a you know nice treat I guess even though it's totally unhealthy but you could also I take the little snack bags and put like four or five of them in there um, and you can take that with you to breakfast as well so at Walmart these would be $2.98 at Aldi they were $2.29 so that is 69 cents saved all right, so that is everything for breakfast this week. Um, one of my meals this week is going to be spaghetti, just because I'm trying to use up some of the things in the pantry, and of course, based on the sales this week, that's what I decided to do. So um, Aldi always has these salad mixes, and they actually advertised one that was just like a plain iceberg salad for like 65 cents a bag. Um, and so I was going to get one of those, but they were sold out, so I don't know, just Super Bowl or what. Um, so instead of getting these 65 cent bag. I just got this one um, for $1.49. So it was over twice the price of the other one, but I actually like this one better than the iceberg one and it's still way cheaper than Walmart. So no harm, no foul. Um, so at Walmart, this five ounce salad mix would be $2.98. At Aldi, it was $1.49. So that is $1.49 saved. Um, that is going to go with the spaghetti dinner one night this week. I also got some mozzarella cheese. Um, the bag that I did have, I used up last week with the chicken fajitas. So I always just like to have shredded cheese on hand. It keeps, you know, for over a month if I put it in, you know, the fridge and make sure it's sealed up and I always end up using it. So this 16 ounce bag, it's four cups. Um, this 16 ounce bag of cheese at Walmart would be $4.22. At Aldi it was $2.99. That wasn't a sale price or anything. Um, so that's $1.23 saved on that. And I don't have anything specific for that. That this week but again I was just out of it um, I guess if you wanted to sprinkle some on the spaghetti you could but that's just you know a, something I have stockpiled in you know my fridge at all times okay so this was my meat uh, pick of the week I have a probably about half a bag of chicken breasts in the fridge but that's about it and I use chicken in like over half of the things that I cook and they did have a sale on their chicken this week um, so Aldi had a fresh meat special for $1.49 a pound on boneless skinless chicken breasts which is mainly what I use 99% of the time um, at Walmart this would be $1.99 a pound and this is a super heavy pack this is 5.62 pounds again $1.49 each so this whole thing was eight dollars and 37 cents I'm going to take it out and 
I possibly might even cut, cut them in half because normally, like for me, a chicken breast that I usually will use is like <laughs> that big. So I may cut them in half and just put like three pieces in a Ziploc bag. You know, portion those out because obviously I'm not going to use all of these at once because this is a ton of chicken. Um, but this was actually cheaper than buying the bag of the frozen breasts like I normally do. Um, so I'm just going to kind of bag it up in Ziploc bags and freeze it and um, of course use it for whatever I desire. I might just have two this week as another meal just as you know just grilled chicken um as a dinner maybe make some rice or something not sure but uh again always like to have chicken on hand and that was on sale this week um a third meal that i'm gonna have this week they had this on sale i guess because of super bowl sunday and i've never tried this before but i thought hey that will be something different switch it up a little bit um i've kind of been eating the same old thing for a while now so since it was on sale i was like hey that'll be a super easy meal you know for us one evening um so this is the pre-cooked or whatever pulled pork you just have to microwave it um and so at walmart this would be 353 and that is for the lloyd's brand which is the cheapest um that's not even the price of like the jack daniels one which was like 653 so i did go with the cheapest brand that they had at walmart um so at walmart it would be 353 at aldi it was 349 so four cents saved not a whole lot saved but still a savings nonetheless and to go with those i just got one package of hamburger buns um, I figure we might have like two sandwiches a piece for dinner and then the rest of them can be packed up for lunches um, so at Walmart these would be a dollar 28 for the buns at Aldi they were 85 cents so that is 43 cents saved um, and I have some tater tots and some canned vegetables or I could make mac and cheese or something to go with it um, but there is a third meal for the week this is also going with a spaghetti um, I can actually deal with spaghetti without meat um, I can just do the noodles and the sauce but you know my boyfriend's a meat guy so like he's got to have meat <laughs> Um, so anyway, I got this bag of meatballs. These were also on sale. They had lots of sales on like, you know, uh, finger food type things, um, or, you know, like super quick things like the meatballs that you could put in a crock pot or like the barbecue. They had a lot of sales on that sort of stuff. Um, the chips and dip because of Super Bowl Sunday. Um, so anyway, these were on sale. They were like, I think a dollar cheaper than they normally are. So at Walmart, these would be $5.94. At Aldi, they were on sale this week for $3.99. So that's a dollar and 95 saved. Um, I'm sure I will only use half of this bag for spaghetti this week and then I can just put the other one in the freezer for next time I want to make spaghetti. Um, and this is also the same sort of thing here. Um, it's got eight slices of toast. We'll probably just use four for dinner and then you know save the other four for next time. So these are actually going to be divided in half to make two spaghetti dinners but obviously I won't eat that twice this week. The other one I might you know eat next week or something. Um, so this cheese toast is at Walmart. 224 at Aldi it's 159 so that is 65 cents saved and last but not least I got another just staple to have on hand um, I use this a lot if I'm making like homemade macaroni and cheese or you know if I get hungry or snacky and want to make like queso or something so I just like to have a brick of this stuff in the fridge I know it's not the healthiest like looking at my food this week it's totally not the healthiest but um, I just wanted some something different to do some recipes that I haven't been eating regularly and switch it up and that's what was on sale this week so that's what I'm going with um, so a Walmart Velveeta is $6.88 and at Aldi it's $3.99 so that is $2.89 saved just on this um, Velveeta is ridiculously expensive um, and I was actually hesitant the first time I tried this because I was like ah it's not going to be as good it's an off brand and I've tried some of the you know off brand like cheese melt before and it just did not taste as good as Velveeta and I'll be honest this is not spot on but um, like if I was going to make a grilled cheese or something I'm sure this would not taste nearly as good as Velveeta but if you're making like macaroni and cheese where there's other things going into it um, I can't really tell a difference so, and it's literally almost like half the price of Velveeta. So, for half the price, um, I don't care if it does not taste identical. I'm not that picky. So, there's that. Again, almost $3 saved just on that alone. Alright guys, so here are my totals for the week. At Walmart, this would have been $56.90. 
At Aldi, it was $35.90 before tax. So that is a savings of $21 or 37% that I have saved. Um, again, that's without any coupons or anything. Now this week I did totally shop the sales. Um, I just looked at the circular and picked, you know, the fruit picks of the week and the meat picks of the week. And that's what I'm centering my meals around. Again, not the healthiest this week because they had a lot of like Super Bowl type snacks and meals on sale. But hey. I'm, I'm on a budget. That's what I'm going for. And I'm kind of excited. I'm going to eat some stuff that's not my norm this week to kind of break up the monotony a little bit. All right. So after tax, everything you are seeing here is $37.52. Now that would fit perfectly with last year's grocery budget um, where my budget was $37.50 a week. But this year I have lowered my budget by $5. So this year my grocery budget is $32.50 a week. So um, with that being said, I did go $5.02 over this week. But if you'll remember last week, I only spent like $15. So um, that's obviously going to absorb the costs there. Um, so as far as being on track with my grocery budget for the month, I am still under um, where I should be. So I'm doing really great so far. Again, I'm a little apprehensive of making this $130 budget work for the whole year. But um, for these first two weeks of the year, I have, you know, successfully done it. So there you go, guys. That is it for now. Let me know what you found at Aldi this week. What are you eating for the Super Bowl? Um, are you going to watch the Super Bowl? I am actually not going to watch the Super Bowl. Uh, my boyfriend's a huge Patriots fan, but I don't have cable. So uh, if he wants to watch it, we're going to have to go somewhere else because... <laughs> I don't have cable and he doesn't have cable, so um, we'll either have to go to Buffalo Wild Wings or over to someone's house if he wants to watch it. I personally just don't care. I do, however, really like Puppy Bowl <laughs> and I have watched Puppy Bowl and like drooled over the little German Shepherd <laughs> that they'll usually have on there. They usually have some sort of German Shepherd or German Shepherd mix on Puppy Bowl. And I'm always like, oh, he's so cute. And so I'm, I'm that lame. I'm that lame girl. So um, anyway, guys, that is my grocery haul for this week. That's it for now, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.